Hey guys, Bobby Bollinger here, and today I'll be bringing you my Week 13 predictions for the NFL's 2016 season. Now, if my voice sounds different today, it's because I'm a little bit sick, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem. Okay. Last week I did pretty well, got all my upsets wrong, along with the Seahawks-Buccaneers game that everyone got wrong. But I still did fairly well, those were the only games I missed. And now I stand at 104 to 73. Definitely climbing up. Okay. Vikings versus Cowboys. Cowboys win. They're a better team. Everyone says pretty much every week this is the Cowboys' biggest challenge of the year. I'm just. Their biggest challenge is going to be in the playoffs. Let's just go with that. They don't have any more challenges to the playoffs. So. Cowboys should be able to take this. The rookies have proven themselves. Move it on. Lions beating Saints. Saints should be able to put up good points against the Lions. I like the Lions a little more in this just because. Though I will say if they have to make another fourth quarter comeback against an offense like the Saints, it might not happen. But I think the Lions are going to tear apart Saints D. Okay, Patriots beating Rams. You know, the Rams offense was actually doing really good. Jared Goff was doing really good. Until they stopped trusting him to do big things and stopped letting him try. Then they sucked. So basically, the Rams have good potential in Jared Goff, but that was, that was against Saints defense, and this is the Patriots. So, the Rams should have a really tough time here. Patriots win it. Broncos beat Jaguars. Jaguars really, really suck. Broncos came off of an impressive loss. They looked like a playoff team, definitely. Jaguars should not stand a chance here. Should not. Bears beat 49ers. 49ers can't stop the run. Bears have the run and a pretty good defense. It's a very good matchup for the Bears. And it's crappy team versus crappy team. So 49ers stay with their one little win. Packers versus Texans. I feel like my voice just cleared up for no reason. Okay, Packers should definitely be able to take this. Texans are not a serious threat at all. And there it goes again. But... Packers aren't that good either. I just feel like they should be able to do a good job against the Texans at home. Falcons beating Chiefs. Falcons were able to survive the Cardinals. But uh, this week should be harder for them. And the Chiefs played amazingly last week. And I wouldn't be surprised at all if they took this game. But... I'm going to continue to stick with the Falcons here, though I don't think they have much shot in the playoffs. Okay, Dolphins beating the Ravens. Basically, this is going to be a defensive t game that's going to come down to who has the better running back. And in this case, it's the Dolphins. He probably won't get that many yards against the Ravens, but he'll wear them down better than the Ravens wear the Dolphins down. Bengals beat Eagles. This game's a toss-up for me. Both of these teams have some big issues alongside some big potential. In the end, I'll just take the home team, I guess. Bengals win. Okay, Raiders beat Bills. Raiders are better than Bills. Bills are going to struggle to put up points. Raiders will do a better job of putting up points and just winning the game overall. Chargers beat Buccaneers. Now the Buccaneers are the ones who actually have a playoff hope, while the Chargers don't. But the Chargers, to me, are still the better team. Steelers beat Giants. You know, the Giants did not do too hot against the Browns last week. They still won, duh. But it seemed like they were extra preparing for the Steelers. 
So I'm not completely comfortable picking the Steelers here, but I think overall the Steelers should be the better pick and should be able to get the win here. Okay, Redskins beating Cardinals. The Cardinals have nothing left to play for, and the Redskins still have playoff hopes. So the Redskins are probably just going to want this game more than the Cardinals. Seahawks beat Panthers in the Sunday's primetime game. Panthers are almost what they were last year, but they do have a suffering secondary, and that's may what really makes the difference between the last season and this season. Meanwhile, the Seahawks have pretty much secured a playoff spot by dominating the NFC West. But they still have something to play for. They just came off of a bad loss to the Buccaneers. And it may have been a result of preparing for the Panthers. I'm not sure why, but, you know, I'll take the Seahawks here. And finally, Colts versus Jets. Colts should definitely be able to take this, assuming Andrew Luck's all better, which he should be. The Colts will be easily able to take out the Jets. The Jets are a crappy team. They have a horrible quarterback, horrible secondary. The run game's not that good. The Colts will definitely be able to put up points on them. They'll give up points, too, but... They should be able to put up points, and the Colts actually do have playoff hopes. They actually do have a reason to win here. So, that's it for this week. Hopefully I do pretty well again. Tell me who you guys think is going to win in the comment sections below, and I'll see you next time. Get it.